YouTube. This is JJ714 coming at you. How are you? Back from Disney, um, we had a really, really wonderful time. And um, we got there on Wednesday evening. God bless us. Um, it was pouring down rain when we left Atlanta. However, um, by the time we got a little, um, maybe a little past McDonough, the rain ceased, and we had really good weather from that point all the way down to this thing. And um, the drive was about uh, a little over six hours, so um, it wasn't a bad trip at all. And um, we did, we had a great time. Um, the first day there, well, Wednesday we got to the hotel, um, got a great deal on the hotel as well. So anybody who really is looking for um, great hotels or even rental um, vehicles and even sometimes airlines. Um, I would suggest going on Priceline.com or uh, there's a few others too that um, they have excellent rates. And we stayed at the Radisson Worldgate Hotel. It was in Kissimmee, um, but we were only I would say we were about an, a mile away from um, Walt Disney World and um, traffic was really, really good and everything. Um, when we got there, Wednesday night, it did rain in Orlando uh, and it rained really early Thursday morning. So we just sort of, um, uh, scoot, you know, stayed in. We watched American Idol. Um, we um, went to, uh, there was a super target, like not even five minutes from the hotel. So. We went there and got some snacks um, that we were going to um, take to the park the next day. But um, on that Thursday, the first park that we hit, we went to Epcot. Um, and it was really, really nice. Um, the only thing was that because it had rained that morning early, because we didn't leave the hotel until I think it was 11 o'clock, and we stayed in the park. It was after 7. It was almost close to 8, but we were going to stay for the um, fireworks and the parade, but it was just too cold. And so um, we ended up coming back in, and we went to a Western Sizzler. Um, actually, they call it Sizzler, but when I was up in the Maryland, D.C. area, we had one in Virginia that was called Western Sizzler. And um, it was a little pricey, but they gave you a lot of food, and the service was really, really good. And one thing that I truly enjoyed about our Disney experience was that the people there, um, the workers there, and even the people that you meet, they're really, really nice and friendly. Uh, it is people friendly, so whatever you need, there's always somebody there to assist you. And what was really more amazing than anything was how clean they kept the property. I mean, with as many people that visit Disney, I was really, really surprised how clean the property was and also how clean the restrooms were. Now, some of the restrooms, once you went in after, you know, people had been there for a while, it was little smells and stuff, but they were constantly cleaning. So overall, I have to give them, if it was um, one out of ten, I would have to give them a nine and a half, close to ten, because for as many people that come there, they did a wonderful, wonderful job. Uh, our second day there, which was Friday, we went to Magic Kingdom, and that was like my favorite all-time park. Uh, I was just like a little kid, um, really, and my daughter, my husband too, we all just loved it. We stayed for the parade, and we stayed for the fireworks, and oh, it was just like so magical. Um, and it just, uh, we did get it on video, so... If I can find the female part to plug into my um, camcorder so that I can plug into my computer, I will do a video on some of that. But it was just really magical. And just to see all the people, the little children and everything, they were tired afterwards and sleeping on their parents' backs and stuff. But it was just really, really nice. And then um, Friday we went to, let's see, I'm sorry, Thursday we went to Epcot. Friday we went to Magic Kingdom, Saturday we went to Hollywood Studios, and this is where they make movies and things like that. And it was really, really nice and everything as well. Um, we stayed there until I guess about 7 o'clock. Um, we probably stayed there the shortest of all because 
Um, they only had a few rides there. We were going to take our daughter on, I think it was called a hundred something, but anyway, it dropped. You started out on the, like the top floor and it dropped all the way down to the bottom. And while we were standing in line, you could hear the people screaming inside. And so my daughter was like, you know, she didn't want to do that. But, um, we ended up leaving on Sunday. Um, we had a really, really good time. Um, I got a little sick. I don't know if it was from the weather and the food or just, you know, us being up so late. I have a slight sore throat right now, but um, I think I had caught a virus or something as well. But I'm starting to feel better. Um, just trying to take it easy for the next few days and everything. But um, I was recommend if you've never gone, please go. If you have little ones, take them because they will really enjoy it. And uh, we're planning to go back in October. But I want to talk a little bit about my skincare. Um, I don't have any makeup on other than my, I put some mascara on and I put some Vaseline on my lips. But I'm telling you that um, the what I've been using, I'm finishing up my Clinique facial soap um, so that I can use my African black soap or the uh, Dudu Oso soap, which is black soap too. But I've been using rose water for the last week and prior to that I was just using um, my Witch Hazel. But last week and now, this starting last week, I started using my rose water uh, and witch hazel for toner, and then I used um, some um, sweet almond oil for to moisturize. And during the daytime, I will use my Clinique SP25 to moisturize um, as well because I do need a sunscreen. Um, but I can say that um, I have noticed a difference in my skin tone. Um, it's all even, um, don't have any breakouts, and uh, it's going to be interesting because I'm going to wait until that time of the month comes again when my cycle starts. That's when I normally, if I have any breakouts, when it starts. So, um, last this month I didn't get anything, so I'm going to check and see if next month, but um, I'm really, really, excuse me, <laughs> loving um, how my skin is coming out, and I, um, started using the um, black soap on my daughter's face, the uh, Dudu Osun, 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 I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Um, and this is what the bar looks like. But um, I've been using it on her face and I use um, the rose water which hazel mix uh, as an astringent on her face and then I use grapeseed oil for her face and um, I have to say, it's, I know it's going to take a minute for her skin because her, her skin is young and she still has a lot of acne and so forth, but I just believe God that in due season, you know, just by taking care of her skin and showing her how to take care of her skin, that it's going to clear up. Um, the other thing I want to talk about right quick is since I started the Queen uh, Regiment, my hair has been blossoming. I actually was going to show it to you um, today, but I got to get ready to go pick my daughter up in a little bit. And um, my hair had been a little damp from the um, me doing the regiment last night. So I just uh, twisted my hair. I put, did put a little Kimmy Two leave-in conditioner in and twisted. But one thing that I has been a noticeable difference, and I've only been doing this now for two weeks. This is actually going on the third week, but last week I didn't do it as much as I wanted to do it because we were um, out of town, but I did do it I think a couple of nights. But the one thing that has really been noticeable for me since I started doing that is the hair on my edges where I have the, you know, where my hair was thin, it's starting to fill in. I mean, I could actually see hair there where I wasn't seeing that. Um, even when I started using the um, black, um, the Jamaican black castor oil and the evening oil, I would be rubbing it. And, um, you know, I was seeing a little bit, but not much. But, I mean, it's actually starting to fill in now. And not only that, my hair texture is getting 
fuller, my hair is thicker. Um, after I did the flat iron on my hair last week and um, the blow, um, my hair, I don't didn't get any um, heat damage or anything. My hair, once, once I washed it and conditioned it and so forth, it went right back to where it was. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with it thus far. Now, I am trying to determine, I am going to do a natural regimen, but my schedule is starting to get so busy because I'm almost getting down to the wire. I have less than 30 days in for this semester in school, and um, that means I have a lot of homework that's coming up that I have to do, so that's going to leave me less time to really do my hair. And um, what I'm going to do is, um, I don't know if I'll be doing my weekly henna treatments um, after the 15th, which today is the 16th, so I may do one more treatment this week. And um, then after that, I'll probably just do it monthly, but I do have my henna um, mixed spray, so I will be frisking my hair with that. Um, but my goal is just to really condition my hair. Um, I have noticed when I did my blow drying and um, uh, flat iron last week that my ends are very dry, and I don't know why that is because I do seal my ends, I do um, moisturize my hair, so I'm just going to have to really pay um, a lot of attention to my the ends of my hair. And I guess because my hair is so short, it's easy for me to get you know, from here up, but I got to start concentrating up at the top. Um, and I'm just going to um, try that for like maybe my new regiment that I'm coming up with. I'm going to try that for probably another month, um, starting since the day is the 16th. I will, I'm going to wait until today is Wednesday, the 18th, which is Friday and uh, start um, from that point and um, go forward for about a month and see how that works. And then maybe the summer, uh, I don't plan to take classes and I can pick back up on the full um, natural regimen. But um, it takes time and um, I'm, I do have things prepared, but then it still takes time to, you know, really do it. So. Um, I'm just going to try to minimize as much as possible, do what I can in a short period of time. But I do know that uh, I will be sticking with the uh, Queen's Regimen. I might even do that uh, five to seven days a week. I'm doing it like three days, three to four days right now, but I think I might try to do it seven days a week. Um, I know that I will be continuing to use my Kim Tube uh, Leave-In Conditioner. And I will also be using a sulfide free um, shampoo. And um, now the thing is um, with the Queen's um, regimen, they only require that you wash your hair once a month and that you um, co wash your hair. You know, you can co wash your hair as many times during the week that you need to or during that month. But with my hair, my hair was so dirty when I did my hair last week. I mean, it was extremely dirty to the point that I was like, okay, if I'm just co-washing and not really getting the gook out of my hair, how is that affecting my scalp? And I don't, I mean, as far as bacteria and so forth. So for me, I will be washing my hair once a week. Um, but, you know, everything else I will follow. So I'm going to stop this video now, and I'll come back, and I'm going to do a little mini haul. Okay? Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.